my creation! Rise! When I was a kid, I wanted to be an engineer or an inventor, but I chose other paths instead that somehow still led me to today's video, where I get to pretend to be both. While I build my own DIY robot from Cam Robotics. Best of all, compared to most robots on the market, this one's actually pretty affordable. My plan for today's video is simple. Unbox the Cam Robotics KT2 Kung Fu Turtle Robot, build it, customize it, test it outside, and finally reviewing it to show you if it's actually worth buying yourself. All right, let's unbox this thing. Well, originally my plan was to unbox this outside. However, it is super hot here in Austin, Texas. It was about 100 degrees, so yeah, we're gonna unbox this inside instead. Here is the box that it comes in. It's built really well, so it's gonna protect your robot in transit. And then we've got, oh my God, what is this? Let me move this out of the way. It looks like they lasered a picture of me onto the box. That's so personalized. I'm gonna put the photo right up here of what this is actually made after, because it's instantly recognizable. And you've also got the legs, you've got the body, you've got the battery servo motors, and you've got the cable control board. And of course, you've got this little wrist thing with Cam Robotics on it. Ahem. Show me what you got. Then you've got the gaming controller, which is pretty sick, and it's actually built pretty well. They give you a good quality controller. And then you've got your USB to USB-C cord, of course. So just as an added bonus, they also lasered on the side of the box. It says to Eric, thanks for shredding the creativity waves with us. Let's skate towards more fun and rad adventures together. This is probably the most personalized box that's ever been sent to me. So first things first, we're gonna grab our control board and we are gonna flip it upside down so that the USB and switch slots face downward. We're gonna drop this down here into the cabin and it fits pretty well. We're gonna grab our servo motors, these bad boys right here. These are what our legs are gonna be attached to. Now it's time to connect these dang servos. Next up, you're gonna wanna connect the servos. Make sure not to mess up the colors though. Brown to ground, red to 5V, yellow should be obvious as third in line C. Next on the list is to connect the battery. Simply plug it into the Shannon Doherty. Cram the bat in and adjust the wiring. If it's incorrectly, the leg should be working. <coughs> All right, time to connect the legs. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you're on a flat surface, which we are. Yes, it's so flat. Awesome. This is gonna be awesome. All right, so the legs actually took a lot longer than I thought they would. The screws were kind of hard to get in with my fat fingers, and also because it was hard to get them to screw in. But eventually I found the threading and I was able to get them all in, so all four are attached. They also came with this little rubber part right here that you can put on each one of the legs just so that it can grip the ground better, which I think is really cool. And of course, I just kind of jammed all of the wires in there, put the top on, and then I put this guy, which was not for my wrist. It was actually to secure this in place just in case of bad wire management, which I'm sure mine had bad wire management. But just FYI, there's no app for this yet. They're actually working on that, Came Robotics is. But right now you can connect to its Wi-Fi. Supposedly I can just get on my phone and I can find it on my Wi-Fi list and then connect it. We're gonna see if this actually is true or not. Down here at the bottom, you can choose your language. So I'm gonna hit English and boom, everything is in English. So now we can see what all the buttons are that are gonna be in the app or what you can test it with. The first one is high. Then there's also a game section. Now there's only two right now. It's time manager and pushing back. We'll just try one of them. We'll try time manager. Uh, okay, cool. So this is kind of like an alarm, I'm guessing. So let's press 15 seconds. And so now it's doing like a downward dog. So I'm guessing that at the end of the 15 seconds, it's gonna show me that. So it's gonna let you know that the alarm is going off. All right, so it's got a game section. Then you've got your joystick, which I'm gonna open up. You can use this that they provided me. Although I'm gonna use that a little bit later, probably not in this video. Mainly because that happens. <laughs> We're gonna instead use the one that is built into the phone. So we've got X, which is kind of like a stomp motion. Then you got A, which is like a hay, it like throws its, its little arms up. You got Y, 
which does a flip. Okay, that was sick. We're gonna do that one more time. Oh, <laughs> make sure you've got room for that when it does that. And then B, it does a little like thrust motion. All right. And then you've also got your buttons up top. So let's back it up and see what else we got. And then you've also got the puzzle piece icon, which is program. So here you can custom program it within their coding environment that they have for you. Super easy to use. Then they've also got a Python coding environment, which is super cool. Then you've got your settings. You've got calibration, calibrate. So this is like a servo reset. And there you go. It'll reset it back to flat. And then you can of course save it. Then you can press go, back, turn left. All right, going back, we've also got skills. So blue word in the button below is the action name and the gray word is the operation method. So you can do a lot of customization with this robot as you can see. Now that we've built this thing, we've checked out the app, we know it works. We're gonna customize this thing. I'm gonna make a freak out of this thing. You like the freaky stuff, huh? That's cool. So first up, I chopped up a Barbie for the hands and glued them on. Then my wife drew eyes on it to give it some personality and a little mouth. And finally, I stupidly installed a GoPro mount on the back so that he could be my little explorer filmer buddy. However, I didn't realize the GoPro was super heavy, so I may want to put a lighter camera on it in the future. So clearly I'm gonna have to do some work on this guy and add some counterweights for the GoPro so that it doesn't fall over in the future because I definitely wanna use it on future adventures. I feel like it would be perfect for urbexing, like going into small tunnels that I can't go into. So I'm gonna have to work on that later. So the question really becomes, is it worth buying? Well, let's talk about it. So for this review, I'm not really going to go into like actual pros and cons since this robot is still in its beta version. Instead, I'm going to give more suggestions to the company as this launches later this month and also talk about the things that I already like about it. So my overall thoughts on it is that it is a pretty cool robot and I love the idea that I can just DIY a robot. I put it together myself. It feels cool to be able to build your own thing. And it's also cool that I feel like you could do a lot of customization to this that you may not be able to do with say one of the other big AI robots in the space. Now I also love that inside the app you can do so much and obviously you can do Python programming and even cooler you can do simpler programming with it through the in-app programming section. Some of my notes back to Cam Robotics would be that once this launches, I really hope that it has more games. I obviously hope that it has an app dedicated to it. And it would also be cool to see some variations of this that come with maybe wheels as opposed to legs. And overall, just to make this into this big, almost Lego-like roboting building world. However, overall, this is a really great robot. And I think they're working through a lot of the kinks that they have. But like I said, this robot is going to release to the public this month as of July, 2024. And the version I got is the one that they're working through. And I actually have a meeting with them later on this week or next week where I'm going to go over all the things that I think they can improve. So if you guys have any suggestions for the Came Robotics team, I would definitely leave it down in the comments because then I can read those and then I can pass them on to Came Robotics. Now I will leave a link down in the description below for you to go pick up your own because like I said, it is gonna be releasing here this month. And I wanna give a huge shout out to the Came Robotics team for sending me this to check out because this was really fun even though I kind of made it weird by gluing things onto it. But I think that's the fun of this robot is that it's supposed to be a DIY robot. And before you go, if you're interested in sci-fi novels, I wrote one right here. It's called The Very Strange Universe of Dr. Natalia Zeal. I will leave a link to that in the description below as well. And with that, guys, I will see you next week. I'm gonna leave a video right up here for you to check out. It's the last robot that I did a video on before this one. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and week. I will see you next time. I'm Eric J. Coons. Please hit that subscribe button if you'd like to. Rock on.